Hi, Wee. Hi, George. Where have you been? Uh, <laughs> I just want to have a little talk with uh, Dusty's doctor. What? Why? Well, you know, I just went to uh, had the blood test just to see if uh, my kidney matched Dusty's. But I thought we decided you weren't going to give him one. I ain't, I ain't. Then why did you take the test? So I won't have to tell Dusty I can't do it. He can't blame me if they don't match. But what if they do match? Bite your tongue. <laughs> I took out a little insurance. I slipped the doctor's nurse a $10 bill. <laughs> you bribed a nurse? Yeah. I just said, listen, baby, you and me both know that that rabbit ain't gonna die, right? <laughs> That's for pregnancy. Same thing. What? They're both for something that's got to come out. <laughs> When are you going to get the test results? Well, they're supposed to phone me as soon as it comes through. But, George... Don't worry, Louise. Hello, Louise. Is George here? Yes, he just got home from the doctor's. The doctor's? Then he's really going to do it. And uh, now, Helen... George! 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 <laughs> George! George! <laughs> Oh, Alan told us about your cousin. Oh. That's right, George. I <laughs> say we're so proud to know you. Uh -huh. ah, ah. <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing. It's like being neighbors with a couple of octopuses. <laughs> oh, George, you can't fool us. You may act mean, but we know that deep down inside you're a sweet, warm, courageous human being. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, Louise, you must be so proud of him. Well, actually... Modesty runs in the family. Well, why don't you run your family out of here? Oh. <laughs> oh, I understand, George. You don't want people admiring you, spoken like a real hero. Spoken like a real knucklehead. <laughs> well, it takes a big man to do what you're doing, George. Yes, but you're doing it anyway. <laughs> why don't you just get out of here? All right, George, we'll leave. Good. George, we realize now that when you get mad and throw us out, you're really showing us how much you like us. Like you? Well, hell, let me show you how much I love you. <laughs> George, that was... That might be from the doctor's office. Well, aren't you going to answer it? Well, don't you answer it. You're closer. <laughs> Hello? Ah, oh, Dr. Feller's office. Yeah, this is George Jefferson. Oh, you already gave Dusty the results? Oh, no, no, you don't have to give them to me right away. Well, why don't you just mail them to me? What? What? Oh, thanks. <laughs> it didn't matter. It didn't matter. It didn't matter, please. George, what a relief. I told you everything was going to be fine. Except for Dusty. Well, I tried, Wheezy, but the test showed I only got two out of four markers. Two out of four markers? What does that mean? Well, four out of four markers is a perfect match. Which means my kidney's gonna stay right where it is. <laughs> oh, Dusty, hi. Hi, Louise. Hey, George, I just got the news from the doctor. Yeah, me too. I'm sorry, Dusty. What do you mean? Your kidney's a great match. It is? Yeah. Two out of four tissue markers, plus the fact that we're closely related means we're all set. All set? Yeah. Dr. Feller says there's an 80% chance that my body will accept your kidney. Hmm. Well, if your body don't accept it, can I get it back? <laughs> uh, afraid not. But look, you can live fine on one kidney. Oh, I don't know about that, Dusty. I got a feeling I'm a two-kidney man. <laughs> I go to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> You're a great kidder, George. Well, I gotta get down to Dr. Feller's office. Uh, I knew I could count on you, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'll see you all later. George, Dusty thinks you're gonna give him one of your kidneys. Yeah. Way to get a dumb idea like that. <laughs> From you, you should have told him the truth. Oh, I can't tell him. Wheezy, me and Dusty are real close. You want me to tell him? No. My cousin, my kidney, my problem. 